Hello, my name is Ewan and today I'll be showing you my new Blockbench plugin, Resource Pack Utilities. This is a plugin that I've made which contains lots of utilities that helps you with resource pack development. You can get this plugin by going to File, Plugins, and then in the available, search for Resource Pack Utilities, and here it is. Just click Install to install it. Of course, I've already got this in my local one, so I'm not going to install it because I already have it. To access the plugin's utilities, you can go to Tools and then Resource Pack Utilities. You will see here, these are all the utilities which are currently in the plugin. In this video, I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to show you one as an example and also how to use the plugin in general. If you have a utility that you want to use a lot, you can click the favorite button here. So I like Pack Creator, so I click the star. And I also like JSON Optimizer because it makes your pack smaller. Let's star that. And Pack Cleaner removes uh, unmodified vanilla assets, which is useful. So I'm going to star that one as well. So they will then appear at the top. And also there are now shortcuts to them if I go to Tools. Resource Pack Utilities is now a uh, select menu. So in here I have shortcuts to those tools. And if I instead want to access all the tools, I would now just click the open button and it would bring the uh, whole menu up. Of course, at the top here you can search for them if you're looking for a certain one quickly. But I'm going to show you the Pack Creator utility. So this utility here, this is a utility that lets you quickly and easily make a template resource pack but it also allows you to import the vanilla assets if you need to. So as an example, let's make a new pack. We call it, we'll call it example pack. And we'll just give it a description of description. The Minecraft version is going to be for 1.21. And let's say we want the textures folder. If I click create, we'll notice it's created the folder and we can click done. If we now go to the output location, which is here, we'll notice that we now have a example pack resource pack. So it's got the right structure. It's got the MC meta already made with the pack format. And then if we go to assets, Minecraft textures, it's made the textures folder for us since we selected it on the side. It has also got a pack.png image as a template that you can edit. Now I'm going to show you how to create a template resource pack while importing the vanilla assets into it. So if we go back to resource pack utilities and into pack creator, if we set the pack name, I'm going to set it to just 1.21 because it's going to be the 1.21 assets. I'm going to leave the description I'm going to tick import vanilla assets. This will include all of the textures and model files from the vanilla game in your pack. I'm also going to tick also include objects. The objects files are things like sounds and languages. They're not included by default, so that's why it's an extra option. It will take longer to extract these, so only do it if you want it. And I'm going to click create. It warns me here that the vanilla assets are only to be used as a template. So if you're releasing your resource pack, make sure that you're not including any of these files in your resource pack. They're only there as a template or to edit. So let's click OK. And it's now going to create our resource pack. This may take a while because it's extracting a lot of files, but it shouldn't take too long. There we go. So once it's done, we can go into our new 1.21 pack there. If we look at the MC meta file, we'll see it says template resource pack as the description because we didn't provide one. It's got the right pack format. And of course, it's now got all of the files in it. So if you go to, there you go, you can see all of the textures. So if you want to make your resource pack, it's a lot easier to modify these. As a final thing, I'm going to try a version that I definitely do not have downloaded on my computer. This plugin supports versions that you don't actually have downloaded through the Minecraft launcher. So if I select 1.12.1, for example, as I definitely don't have this one downloaded, let's name it 1.12.1. So this version is not on my computer. It is gonna instead download the files from the internet. Quick note is uh, this is the Minecraft version picker. You can turn on snapshots here and you get the snapshot versions instead. But I'm just gonna go with 1.12.1. So create, okay you notice cache directory was not found. Because this was not found on my computer, it needs to download some files from the internet and it needs a place to put them as a cache so that if you try it again in the future, it doesn't need to download them again. So let's click okay. It's gonna ask us where to save them. I'm gonna make a new folder in my .minecraft folder. You could put this anywhere, but I like to put it in my Minecraft folder. I'm just gonna call this resource pack utilities cache. And I'm going to select that folder, and there we go. It's now I've downloaded the jar file for that game version. And it's now extracting all the assets to it. There we go. So if we go to the 1.12.1 folder in our resource packs, we can now see we've got a 1.12.1 resource pack. And if we go to our .minecraft folder, if we go to our cache folder here that we made, 
we'll see it's downloaded the jar file as well. It hasn't actually extracted the objects files because I actually have those already in my thing. There you go, 1.12. So it already has those, which is why it didn't extract those. But if you didn't have the objects files in your .minecraft folder, it would have also downloaded those. So this has been the resource pack utilities plugin. I hope you like it. It does have lots of tools that I have not covered in this video. I might make uh, videos for each one. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you.